The Apache web server runs in the, in the background, essentially. So it, it's running at the moment when we install it. Uh, we can change the status of it so we can stop it from running and so on. So we'll show you some commands for, for viewing the status and changing the status of the web server. And these commands are part of system D and the command is system control or system CTL. And they can be used on other services as well, like the secure shell server. Uh, so firstly, and we to get the full information to make changes, we need to be sudo system control system CTL, and there's a number of operations that we can uh, um, do. First one, we can see the status of a current service of, in our case, Apache two. What's the status of Apache two? And it gives us some information. And the first few lines, Apache two web server. Importantly, in green it is active and it is running. So the web server is up and running. That's what we'd like to see in the normal case. And some other details about the processes, the amount of memory, and a little bit about the log of the server. And we can queue to quit. So the status tells us about how it currently is. Uh, we can stop the server. And now check the status and we see it's inactive or dead. It's not running. And if I open up my client and try and connect, I get unable to connect to remote host. So my client cannot connect to the server because the server, Apache in this case, is not running. And as you may guess, um, we'll just go to the top. If we can stop, we can also start. It's back running again. So stop and start. And there's also a restart. Uh, that's useful if you want to refresh things. Um, we saw uh, previously there's a restart, which should stop the server and start it. And there's also a reload, which doesn't stop and start it, but loads in this case, any reloads any configuration files. And that's especially important with Apache because if you change configuration files, those changes don't take effect until you reload them or restart them. Restarting would interrupt any connections. Let's say if someone was accessing your website at that particular in time, the restart would, uh, would, would cause those connections to be disconnected. Reload would not, it would just reload the configuration. Uh, some other things. Um, all right, when our system boots, is it going to, um, is Apache going to start? So we can check and it talk about whether Apache is enabled or not. System control is enabled Apache 2. Gives a bit of a warning there, it's not a native service. Uh, it's using an older system, but the last line saying, yes, it's enabled. Enabled means that when your system boots, Apache 2 will start automatically. You don't need to manually start it. And that's normally what you want with a service. So if your computer goes down and comes back up again, the server, the software will automatically start up. You can also see if it is, is active. There's a short way to see whether it's up and running now. Active means it's running now, enabled. It will run when the system boots. Uh, if you don't want it to run when the system boots, you can disable. And is enabled, it's disabled. Okay, so if my system boots, and let's see, is it active? It's running, it's active, but it's disabled means if my system goes down and starts up now, Apache will not automatically start. Generally, we want it to be enabled. So we we'll enable. And let's just clear that and see, is it active? Yes. Is it enabled? Yes. That's what we want it to be. 
So we can use system control to change the status of our server, in this case Apache 2, and we can also apply it on other servers.